internet what is really 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 good you know what it is it's the one and the only the triple the g o g and of course i'd like to welcome you guys back to another installment of triple the guys big show and yo coming right on xa episode number seven and you know i got that heat i got this review about to pop off major but before we get to the business at hand which is reviewing this episode I want to get to something real quick that I maybe should have said a couple episodes ago. So, so fuck with your boy for a minute. Kamen Rider XA, thank you. Take, take it from a fan. I appreciate stage changes. I appreciate stage changes because they are a complete suburb to the trope of where Toku fights take place in one section of somewhere in Japan and then are mystically work to that quarry where every Toku fight in history has ever happened. It's like, I didn't think about it. Like, I've been thinking about saying it, but it wasn't, like, really apparent until what happened in the episode today where they had to take the stage change out from the hospital into this random beach part. And I'm just sitting up here like, yo... Like, they've been doing it for episodes and I've been thinking about it and I've always wanted to open my mouth and say that I appreciate that this show's premise allows them to to hug a trope and hold it tight and make it his own because of the premise of the show. I don't know when we gonna get another show like XA or a show that would be able to in any sort of toku show you wanna name where they can completely take that trope and really hug it, really get tight with it, and make something amazing and absorb it as something that's something as natural as breathing. And I have to appreciate that. So I gotta give X8 the props for that. Yo, stage change is a fucking amazing boss. So X8, keep doing your thing. Speaking of the thing and doing the thing and getting it done, it's time for the one and only to do what he does better than anybody in the business. And that is to review Common Rider X8 episode 7. I want to start with this. Here's the truth, Internet. 99% of the truth is always 100% a lie. Always. Take that with you. Don't ever say your boy Triple the G.O.D. never gave you nothing. Let me repeat myself. 99% of the truth is 100% of a lie. All day, every day. In this episode, that's what the underlining, the under the underlying meaning of the episode, because it was a very it was a very heavy curious focused episode, which the show needed to get out the way really early because here is a straight liar. The show has you know the show has made that point, but we really needed to get to some truth about the character, even if it even if it is shoveled in the middle of some bullshit. Is that we learn the truth? Is that yeah? His friend died because of the Buxter virus, technically, because he told him about the Buxter virus, and we're assuming that after he ran off and his homie was crying like a little biatch, that he got ran over by a Mack truck or something. We'll just go with that. We'll just go he got ran over by a Mack truck and we'll move on. Later in that episode, Kyrie tried to sit up here and was telling the truth about Gim's identity about Gim's true identity as Kurito, but that got shafted when Parag got in the middle of it, and it's like, that leaves me with the question of why is it so important at this stage of the game because of how fast the show is moving that a move like that would be made to have somebody like Parag protect Kurito like that. That makes no sense to me. Because you would think you would think that because like I said because of the way the show is moving in this rapid pace that they would just get that out the way. I talked about this last week. Or week before last week. It wasn't ever so last week. But the show can't hang on that forever. That's something they need to hurry up and get out the way. But at the same time it makes sense. And because now that I'm sitting up here hearing myself talking about it here's why. Call on Duty Black Cops ain't got his level 3 yet. You really can't bust something out like that until Call on Duty Black Cops get his jet power and he just gonna be flying around doing drive-bys on niggas. That's just what he gonna do. I don't know. That just makes sense. So let him get his level 3 first. 
And then, you know, then you reveal, you know, your master plan or whatever. But again, they cannot sit up her and drag that secret out forever. I'm not sitting up here and saying that when they reveal who Gim really is, is that Kyria is supposed to get some come up. Like, I was telling the truth all along. I told y'all that one episode that was that, that was some old bullshit that happened, but I but I fucks with y'all though. The thing about all that Kyria business was the end of the episode. Was because you done sat up here and let so much bullshit spew out of your mouth is that you now have to double down on your bullshit. Is that maybe maybe if that if the reveal would have came out, that may have been your come up. That may have been your come up. But again, the the next tr- the truth that Kyrie is ultimately gonna have to tell is going to be plot relevant, whatever that is. Is that I don't really think that the rest of the squad trusting Kyrie is gonna come from revealing who Gim is. Something else is going to happen because something plot-wise has to happen because the only person that's going to fuck with him is Emu. Because, because asshole, he ain't trying to hear none of this shit. And, and Snipe, he just like, fuck it, I just want gash hats. I don't want any motherfucker who get on my white niggas called on duty. Black Cock Gang was really good. So, wherever the come up is going to come from, it, it's not going to be when they reveal who Gim is. And again, like I said, and I repeat myself, I don't need it. the show moving so fast, it's moving like finger snaps. They need to sit up here, establish the rest of their status quo, and get to the point. And I'm not sitting up here saying they should rush to the point, but because the show is moving so fast, and I really think that this is a show that could be done in multiple arcs with multiple levels of Buckster villains. I really think that this is a show that could do something and just have like a focus right here. And then once that's defeated, raise the stakes. Once that's defeated, raise the stakes. And then after that, end the show. This is a show that because of the way of its fast-paced movement through its plot and its action, it's a show that can carry something like that. In other news, because I do have to do my job here, is... I was surprised that when Laser got his level three, that he just because I honestly thought that when he got his level three, that because it was that samurai, I thought he was finna turn into a horse or some shit. Thought he was finna to like turn into like a jet bike horse because you know the rider who is a bike turning into a jet bike horse. I thought that was the thing that was gonna happen, but he got a humanoid form for his level three, so now he ain't completely useless no more. So, I wonder what the hell Emu's going to do for a bike now, now that his bike can transform and actually fight for himself. That should be interesting to see how the show deals with that. But then when I sit up here and think about it, he could just get him a power-up or something, make himself go super fast or something. I'm not really sure, but the show has to figure that out, not me. My job is to watch and review the show. My job is not to write it. Or, you know, gloss over possible plot holes that may happen in the future. That's not my job. My job is to watch and enjoy this crack that is Kamen Rider XA. As usual, another great episode, man. I'm like, if y'all, if, if you listen to this and you ain't watching Kamen Rider XA, let me say this as respectfully as I can. The fuck is you doing? I said it live. The fuck is you doing? Toku show aside, this is a good show. This is a nice good if you're looking for a show with some drama, this show got you. This show, this show got you. This show will take care of you. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you can listen to my past reviews because I have talked at length about if you're looking to get into Colorado, some re- the the recent um Neo He say stuff that you can get into. Double Forza God Drive to a less degree. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. You know what I'm saying? Do what you do. Do what you do. So that is it. That is all for me. So I would like to thank Stage Changes, Lies, and the Lying Man get a level 3. The Bike gets a level 3. You get a level 3. And you get a level 3. And you get a... What? If, If, um... 
if Toronto wants to throw all level threes like candy, like Oprah giving away cars that you gotta pay taxes on, fuck am I supposed to do with that information? What am I supposed to do with that? I don't know. But yo, like I said, another episode of Common Rider X8 in the books, man. Yo, show going stupid though. So, before I get out of here, just have one more thing. Enjoy your, enjoy your day with your folks tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I know holidays and it's a holidays is that, but um, anytime is a good time to gather around with your folks. Well, holiday or not, man, because the people is all you got. You know, just say that live. You know what I'm saying? You may not like them sometimes, but this, this, and that, but your people's if your people. And if you got an opportunity to kick it with those close to you, you know what I'm saying? Whether that's the family you was born into or the family you have created for yourself, embrace that, embrace that shit, hold it, and never let it go. Take it with somebody who know how about that. So for me and mine, to you and yours, happy Thanksgiving, all that shit. Um... Got some Ruby this weekend. I got some planned for next Friday. So be watching for that. Be watching for that next Friday evening. We'll have a new... We'll have a new review of Ghost next week. Got you on that Ruby this weekend. And whatever else it is, I, I feel that I need to get on. You know, I'm still trying to get the lab together. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get back I'm trying to get back to the hustle work. But I'm on some other hustle work right now. And that make it kind of hard. But it is what it is with that. So... With all of that being said, you know, Line Man gets a level three. Call on Duty Black Cow gotta wait till about next week because I didn't watch the I don't I don't watch the uh, I don't watch the previews anymore because of the sake of these reviews and stuff and things. That's that. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> With all of that being said, I am of course. The one and the only, the triple, the G-O-D. And of course, I'd like to thank you for joining me for another episode of Triple the Guy Speaks on that. See you next game.